Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. If this video helps you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and it really helps. Let's get to the video. Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about the difference between the auto and ask feature on the TI-84 Plus CE graphing calculator when looking at our table of values. So we look at our calculator on the screen and also we see on the screen this equation that we're gonna graph. So that would be y equals 0.24x squared minus 2.5x plus 23.65. So let's go ahead and graph that in the calculator. 0.24x squared minus 2.5x plus 23.65. So now I don't really need to look at the graph here because I'm just trying to figure out what y is when x is the following three values, when x is negative 41, when x is 27.8, and when x is 36.54. So I made a previous video about how to get to the table of values, how to adjust to the table of values, like the starting value and the increments in the table. So I'll link that in the cards right now. But for this video, let's go ahead and hit second table. And now we take a look at our table of values. So we see X and for mine, it's starting off with an X value of zero. And notice my increments are just zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're going up by one. So now to find when X is negative 41, yeah, I could just click up, you know, 40 times to see when it's gonna be negative 41, but that's gonna take a while. And like I said in that previous video, I told you how to start your table at a different value. Um, and so we're gonna go to that same button today, that second window. And so above that, we see the, the letters TBL set. So that's table set. Basically, how do you want your table to be set up? So on this screen, in that other video that I talked about that I made, all I talked about was table start and delta table or change in table. And so the table start is where you want your graph or where you want your table to start. What X value do you want to see first? So if I change this to 15 and I go back to my table, we'll now see my X value is at 15, right? So let's go back to table set. Now, if I want to change the, the increments, I could change this. So right now I'm going by ones. If I want to see you know, every half value, I change that to 0.5. I go back to my table and notice we see 15, 15 and a half, so on and so forth. Well, that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to talk about these two features here, independent, dependent variable, auto versus ask. Now, the one thing that you would ever change is the independent because that's X, and you would change this from auto to ask. So it's on auto, what auto does is it auto populates our table, right? So our X values are already there, our Y values are already there. As soon as I change this from auto to ask, right? Let's go ahead and change my, my table back here to one. I don't think that's going to matter, but let's go ahead and change this now to ask. So now notice what happens when I go back to my table. It's blank. So essentially what I've been able to do is now I can type in whatever X value I want and it'll give me the Y value that's, a, that's on that function, right? So the first one we're going to do is negative 41. So we type in negative 41, we hit enter and it gives us that value. Now one thing we could do if we want to round our value to a different um, decimal place here, it's to the hundredth place. So I could go up and over to that value and it's gonna tell me the exact value down here. The exact value is what we see on the screen. So we would just write 529.59. Okay, so now let's do our next X value. We wanna do 27.8. So 27.8 and we get 139.63. So 139.63. Once again, let's check that value. So we go up and see this one, it does round or the exact decimal actually goes out two more decimal places, right? So our calculator on the screen, it's rounding it to the nearest hundredth place. So just a tip, if you need to round it to a different place, then you can go up to it and um, at the bottom of the screen, it'll tell you the exact value. All right, and the last one you need to do is 36.54. We hit enter there and it gives us 252, so 252.74. And once again, if we check that, see it does have more decimals, uh, more values to the right of the decimal on that. So once again, you could round it to whatever you want, okay? So like I said, go back to second table set. You're not really ever gonna uh, mess with the dependent variable being auto and ask, um, just independent variable. And so when, when you would use this is when you are given specific X values that aren't just whole numbers or integers, they're decimals, right? And it, it would be really tricky and it'd take a lot of time to use the trace feature to go through and do all of that um, or to change your table the change in table here to tenths and hundredths and continue to click through that. So this is just a way for you to plug in the exact X values you need for your table to get the corresponding Y values as quick as possible.